All right, thanks, Jade. Let's take a look at Delray Beach this evening, and it's looking pretty nice. That high risk for rip currents continues tomorrow. I know a lot of folks are making these days beach days. Now the kids are out of school. Just be careful if you decide to go for an ocean swim. Wave heights will be a little bit lower tomorrow, two to four foot seas, and some spots three to six foot, but still dangerous rip currents around. So. Just be on guard. Uh, here's a look at the weather headlines as we watch the radar tonight. We'll see a few of the showers that are around right now continue into the evening hours. Pushing farther east, the rain tomorrow won't be so much inland as it will be driven all the way over to the east coast. So I think we'll see more rain in the area tomorrow. The other story besides rain, because we've been talking about rain a lot, the heat temperatures climbing to well above average to near record highs by the end of this week. Combined with the humidity, it's going to be downright hot. Here's a look at the showers on the live radar right now. A lot of the thunderstorm activity is dying. In fact, when you look at the lightning strikes, these are the lightning strikes in this entire picture that you're seeing. And right now there's only two, two lightning strikes coming in on the lightning counter right there. And so there's one right there. There's a couple of them right there. So this thunderstorm here is producing basically all the lightning that the radar is able to see in this one image. Now in here, this is light to moderate rainfall. In the reds, there's a little bit of a heavy rainfall there, but most of that's on the western side of Lake Okeechobee. So from Pahokee to Sandcut to Indian Town, that's all just light to moderate rain. The rest of the area pretty quiet. Future track shows that as we get into tomorrow afternoon, more rainfall being pushed all the way to the east and then really just isolated to scattered rainfall for the rest of the week as dry air mixes with the moisture that's around. So it goes back and forth between a 30 to 20 percent chance for rain. Temperatures right now mostly low 80s as the sun is getting closer to being set and we're looking at temperatures low 80s all the way down in Palm Beach County too. Uh, here's future temperatures. As we work our way into tomorrow afternoon, winds start to become a little more southwesterly and that's going to help our temperatures climb into the upper 80s and low 90s tomorrow and then we stay with those westerly to southwesterly winds. These are very warm winds coming across the state. Look at the high temperatures potentially on Thursday in the low 90s, maybe 93 in West Palm, 89 Port St. Lucie. And remember, there's humidity on top of that, so that makes it feel even hotter than the actual temperatures. The temperature trend, upper 80s, low 90s tomorrow and Thursday, Friday and Saturday, more 90s than 80s. Rain chances 40% tomorrow, down to 30% Thursday, Friday, 20% over the weekend, but the temperature's getting hotter over the weekend. 93, 94 degrees, the heat index around 101 or 102. That's the way it will feel through the weekend and into the beginning of next week. Let's look at your forecast.